Hello and welcome to another episode of Underwood Garage. And as the intro typically typic, tip, tip, typically goes, I don't remember what was in the last episode, so let's just take a look at what's happened. First and foremost, you may notice... Woo look at that. I was so pumped when I got that on. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Mm. Also, this bumper. I was so pumped when I got that on. And when it comes in the mail, black. You have to paint it. That was shocking. It's black. That means I have to paint it. I don't want to paint it. And a real, a real letdown, actually. We got windshield wipers on here. We got both of these things on and an antenna. And if you come this way, walk back around me, you will see, bam, door panels, door blocky thingies, door pulley thingies, window roller thingies, Got the old door panel and lines for the new door panel. Check that out. All sorts of panels getting test fitted and painted. Oh, yeah, I like that wood much better. New rubber floor mat. Woo! Nice. And uh, also, safety third seat belts. <laughs> Moving on to. What about those chairs? Oh, these chairs? I mean, they're in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not I'm, the finished product. I modified that one with duct tape. Yeah, that's not, that's not done yet, but you know, a little at a time. <laughs> Boom! Look at this beauty of an interior. We got the, uh, the this guy on. Open, close, storage. Can you see that? Open, close, open, close. How about that? Uh, this wood floor I put in and I found these magical boards at Home Depot and this is actually only three 18 inch boards so I didn't fuss with all these individual boards but I got the beauty of it and I'm just really really pleased with the way the floor turned out um I'll show you what it looks like when you're in it seat, seat cushions oh seat cushions by Hillary Underwood how many weeks pregnant was I when I did that it was like the last week, so how many is that? 38, 9? I was like 38 weeks pregnant, and Hillary, I re-upholstered those seats. Hillary re-upholstered those seats at 38, 9 weeks. 38 weeks. 38 I mean, I'm, weeks pregnant. I'm not tuning my own horn, but you know. You know. How do you feel about it? I feel good about it. We're not so. Uh, my father-in-law, Chip Johnson, built this sweet tabletop for me. And let me show you how it do. You go like this, and then you scoot this back, and then you get this clippy thingy, and you clip it, snap it. I'm trying to find the little snap button. There we go. And then, nice. I haven't actually done this yet, but this should, in theory, extend somehow. Like I said, I haven't done it. Yeah. Oh. oh boy! Fixed it! Woo! Look at that! 
Did you get that on film? I got that on film. And now... Oh wait, I haven't been recording this whole time. Quit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I hit it. So if you hit it and turned it off, then you're not lying. I'm just kidding. Okay, so check it out. Sleep, wow. sleep mode. In just, in under five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> This is a, okay. It's a quick few minutes you got to Okay, so, oh, my feet are getting this dirty. See, point it, show them this. Okay. I painted all of this so it's all like kind of sticky, slow moving. That's the first articulation ever. So give me some grace. We need some grease on this. We need some grease and some grace. Grease and grace. <laughs> Don't no, we all? Don't we all? Okay. We'll just leave that there. How about that? Yeah. Rear bumper. Feeling good, feeling real good about that bumper. Mm hmm. Here we are. Thankful to have Chip back in the Underwood garage. We're gonna get the bumper mounted today, but it is not a perfect fit. We're having to do a little bit of a retro fit. I think it's a Brazilian bumper or something like that, so we're gonna get it on there. I think that's pretty much it. But um, also, I've been driving it, so. A lot of things that I've been doing are like getting the carburetor tuned right. That was a hassle. Oh, smooth. We are cruising. That cave rides better than the Jeep. Yeah, it does. Smooth. We got a lot of slop in the steering, and the old steering dampener, when it would kind of wiggle around a little bit, let it get a little wobbly. So, put a new one in see if it uh, amends that and then I'm probably gonna have to move on to some more of the steering accoutrements but I did get new shocks on it all the way around I fear I sometimes make things look too easy on this YouTube channel this bolt right here I had to cut it two different times heat it up with the uh, torch tried to drill it out unsuccessfully hit it pounded it to get it out of that uh, place where the shock mounts right there it was a real deal nightmare just to get one bolt out so sometimes sometimes I just say and I did this and don't include like oh that and and that one bolt took two hours <laughs> uh, getting the brakes all tightened up and the most disappointing thing is it pops out of fourth gear. The guy that gets sold me the transmission, he said, this transmission's good, I believed him. Shouldn't have. So I'll have something to fix next winter. Right now you just have to keep the slightest pressure on it while you're accelerating. And then once you're like up to speed, if you're gentle driving, it'll stay. So you just kinda gotta, that's something to deal with, but you know. Here we go. This guy's getting a picture, getting gas. Mm-hmm. Looks good in the wild. A guy like me, I can deal with that. Yeah, that's part of it. So, I hope that you enjoyed this update. I probably missed a lot of stuff because I've been working on this thing a lot, but I've been having a blast driving it around the neighborhood. And until the next update, thanks for watching. Ciao. What up? Look at that. It's the Underwood. That looks like a robot. Robot. Robomania. Beep, 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 beep.